Hey you guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra and for today's plant video we have here, I'm just going to address, no I haven't posted but it's been like, I've been having some like <laughs> kind of crazy anxiety around it. Like my plant tour video has done so well and I'm so excited for the um for the growth that my channel has like sprung from these plant videos and of course I'm going to keep giving you guys more plant videos if that's you know what you guys want to watch so moving on again thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined our little planty family I guess <laughs> and yeah so I'm just gonna also address this I finally have a Thai constellation like you guys it still feels so unreal <laughs> This is such a beautiful plant, you guys, in person. Like, I've watched so many videos, countless videos, and was just like, uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to, you know, have one, right? But I found this um, tissue culture on Etsy, and so far, so good. You guys, wish me luck on growing this. I just have it in some moist perlite. It seems to be doing okay. The leaves are still curled. They They were curled when they first arrived in the packaging, so yeah um so far so good i guess like i'm just trying to you know look at it every day and just make sure it's happy my plants for it to be fall there's literally new growth everywhere on my plants so that's kind of what this video is going to be about but um yeah look at this new leaf that has been unfurling Ugh, i cannot get a good view <laughs> sorry you guys but um yeah, it really, it put out this new leaf while in my care. You guys, like, what the heck? Like, I really have a Thai constellation. <laughs> that, this plant is so gorgeous. This is like my top, this is like my top wish list, wish list plant ever. Like, I'm so happy I was finally able to get one. I'm so stoked. You guys, wish me luck. Give me any tips you um can down in the comments. I'm taking... I'm taking all suggestions, of course. So yeah, this is my new baby, my Monstera Thai constellation. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've had her for about a week now, and um, or maybe not a week, maybe coming up to a week. So yeah, my Thai constellation. So next, I just want to talk about my talk about my spider plant babies um they're not doing well at all they're very um they're getting very thirsty <laughs> in my little bowl i've put them in oh and by the way i'm just not on camera today i've been looking at a hot mess i'm sorry so y'all are just gonna look at the plants today i hope you don't mind um but yeah they're dying off i really need to pot these up i might do this today in this video i might save it for a whole nother video but um yeah that's a little update on my spider plant. I definitely need to fill up the water reservoir. So, you guys, ever since I've put this golden pothos on this plank, it has given me this new leaf, and it's on, it's pushing out a new leaf. It's supposed to be fall, you guys. Like, <laughs> why are my plants just putting out all this new growth? Like, my neon, my girl up here, she's always pushing out new growth, so that's nothing new here. I feel like she's just going to keep... She's literally going to keep growing throughout the winter. I'm going to have to just keep an eye on her, make sure I don't let her dry out too much. And yeah, so she's doing good as well. Sorry if I'm speaking fast. I'm just trying to get this done very quickly because the more I like overthink it, <laughs> the longer it'll take me to do it. So update on the silver sword here. Um, the new growth here is kind of bending forward. I don't know if I like that. But anyways, they have had so much new growth as far as the roots. The roots are going crazy on this Trifolia moss pole, you guys. Like, I haven't moistened it in a while, so I do need to um, go ahead and re-moisten the pool. But it's been really latching on well to my moss pole, so it's very happy, I think. It's dropping this leaf, um, but I think it's just a really old leaf. So, you know, whatever. My Hindu rope right here has a little baby. I, I guess, is this considered like a baby leaf right here? And then it's pushing out new growth here. 
and the growth on this stem is looking good as well hopefully y'all can get a good look oh my nails look atrocious oh my god i'm so sorry you guys have to see that <laughs> oh my goodness my nails look awful oh no okay uh, moving on <laughs> new growth on my golden goddess i don't really care for the spacing of the leaves on this plant right now I might propagate this plant and just chop off the stem and try to give it more light because down here is a lot more fuller than up here and I don't like this spaced out look honestly. Here is my splendid here and if you guys are wondering why they're all kind of bunched up over here I went on vacation and I only let them get the natural lighting I didn't leave on my grow light so yeah they're all I had to all kind of Push them all over here up against this one little balcony window, the north facing window, of course. And this is a, this is the newest leaf. And then down here, there's a whole nother plant going on. So that has been really fun to watch. There's a new leaf unfurling right there. This camera is really being my friend today. Look at how amazing you can see that new leaf. <laughs> like, wow. But we are also losing a baby leaf. And you guys, this was the cutest leaf ever. And it's still so cute. I'm just leaving it on for as long as possible, honestly. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah. She's doing well. So, you guys. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. But this is one of the all green stems. New leaf right here. This is the newest leaf. These are the newest, newest leaves that I've kind of been like eyeballing. And they've come out so nicely and so like lush and full like this plant is so happy right here <laughs> i'm glad and i took the cutting from right here you can see it's dried off now the stem well here let's see the stem has dried off but it didn't push out any new growth from here it pushed out new growth from the base of the stem like how exciting is that okay quick update on my giant golden pothos here so of course she's pushing out new growth every single day she is so happy new growth right here new growth where else this is a newly unfurled stem with a new one popping out the variegation is still so stunning like i'm just still so shocked that i found this plant like <laughs> It's been doing amazing, you guys. It's been doing so amazing. And just popping over here to say a few words about my ZZ here. She's very large and in charge over here in this corner. I think she hates it inside because she has not put out a new stalk since coming indoors. But hopefully she can just thug it out through the winter, <laughs> through this fall and winter season. And I'll put her right back outside. First thing for spring. Oh, and I guess I'll include this tragedy here. My dog knocked over yet again another plant. And it was my baby, my silver sword. He knocked over my silver sword, you guys. I was so hurt. Yeah, yeah. You're the culprit. Yes, the culprit and the mess. Hey, Hey, leave my plants alone, dude. You see how he booped my plants over? They were standing up so nicely. But anyways, guys. So, these are my newest plants here. You guys, I found these little burl's tail cactuses. Cacti? Not. Why am I saying cactus, you guys? These... <laughs> These burl tail succulents. You guys, I actually stepped foot in a Home Depot yesterday. And I was like, hmm, let me pick these up. So I got two of them. They were both about five bucks. They both came up to about five bucks each. Four dollars and some change. I don't remember the exact amount. So how stinking adorable, you guys. Look at these little leaves. Like, come on. I plan on combining these two together. And just continuing to propagate to, you know, one day have a full pot. These pots are so dry, but from the care videos I've watched, um, a lot of people say, please do not overwater them. That's the main, like, killer. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave them dry until 
I guess my my natural instincts kick in to maybe water it, you know? But so far, they look very healthy still, even in this extremely dry soil. Like, these plants can come out of this pot so easily. But yeah. So, the newest addition. <laughs> well, one of the new additions. My Burrow's Tail Succulents. And here we have the jade plant got it 12.98 again at the home depot so yeah i was just like oh my goodness this plant is so stinking cute and i love how the stem is so woody as it grows it's kind of like my um you know the ficuses so i think this is so cute and it should be a lot more easy care and less finicky than a ficus i hope so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Sorry again for not really showing my face. I hope this video was still as um, personable as it usually is. But yeah, um, I just was so excited. I couldn't hold it in any longer. And I just really wanted to hurry up and get this, get these new exciting updates out to you guys. So yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments below. What plant are you most excited for? Like, are your plants still growing where you live or have they gone dormant? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like. See you guys in my next video. Later.